Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Time Traveler's Coin Exchange. Uh, today, I have a coin you guys may have seen here before. Uh, I made a video of it just a week ago, and it kind of left my head scratching. It made me happy, it made me sad, it made me happy, it made me sad, and uh, has left me just with deep thought and mystery. And uh, I've realized that uh, I could have found something very, very interesting and uh, ver some val very valuable information for you guys all about the 1969S uh, proof coin and the mint state coin. Uh, so what we have here is I believe this to be a 1969S Lincoln Memorial Cent. And it's a proof coin. At least that's what it appears to me to be. Uh, now, I have this coin in my possession, uh, but the coin has sold. Uh, the person buying the coin uh, was informed all the detail, all the information I'm telling you guys tonight. Uh, they thought it was an interesting coin to pick up, so it's gone. Um, so I'm making this video kind of in a rush here. Uh, but So this one was graded by PCGS, 1969S, and they graded it Mint State 68 Red. And so the thing is, uh, if you look up a Mint State... Mint State 68 red coin of uh, 1969S. There's four of them known to be graded. It's a top pop coin. Uh, and one of the funny things is there is a proof coin. At least to me, this looks like a proof coin. Um, and so it's kind of a mystery to me. But so my question is, uh, when I enter the cert number in my registry set, uh, where it is at the moment until uh, it goes out the door, uh, this coin comes up as a mint state 68 red. The funny thing too is it has a value of zero dollars. But my thoughts have kind of gone deep on this one as when you look up what the price guide, it doesn't show any price, but it shows four in the population. Why would that be? Has it not hit the market? Has a mint state 68 red never hit the market to be sold? And if so, why? And that leaves me the idea, the mystery of, if this one shows up as a mint state in my registry set, what do the other three mint state 68 reds show up in their registry sets? And are the other three Mint State 68 Red Lincoln Memorials created by PCGS. Are they proofs that were mistakenly graded as a Mint State Business Strike coin? And so the implications are quite a few on this. Um, so if there is no Mint State 68 Red coin, there could be three others, but the population, from what I'm telling, or looking at just went down to three from four. So that would make those three more valuable. But why has one never come up for sale to be sold? And what if if they are if they were all mistakenly graded, what does that do to the value of a mint state sixty seven? Now I, I had someone look it up while I was on the stream the other day, and I don't remember the number, but there was not an incredibly large amount of, uh, there wasn't a large amount of Mint State 67 reds. I want to say it was under 100. I would guess it was 17 of them. So uh, one of the purposes of this video is if you have a Mint State 67 Lincoln Memorial sent, and the other four graded by uh, PCGS that are higher population don't exist, that would maybe mean that your 67 is now the top pop coin. So I'm interested, I'd like to hear from anyone if they have a Mint State 68 Red 1969S, if they can confirm that theirs are actually um, a business strike coin. I mean, there's always the, the, the possibility, yes, this is a business strike coin. It doesn't look like a business strike coin. It has <clears throat> proof-like fields. Um, you know, I've looked at quite a few Mint State 67 and 68 coins, 
Um, this one to me looks like a proof coin. I got super excited when I like saw the holder and I was like, wait, what? I just got a possibly $5,000 coin. Uh, this is ridiculous. But so I guess that one of the reasons that I made this video was if this coin, uh, if there are no Mint State 68 red and they were just labeled mistakenly and that changed the whole registry, you know, if that changed it so that people who had Mint State 67 coins all of a sudden didn't have pop coins and their coins were devalued. And basically, what would that mean if, you know, if it was found out that there was no Mint State 68 reds? You know, this is all, all hypothetical. I do not own, I have not owned the other three coins that have this grade. Um, so they very well might be. But I kind of thought that this was news. I kind of thought this was interesting. I kind of thought this was a mystery. Um, you know, if it, I've gotten other coins that were graded by PCGS that were errors, but they weren't far off. It, you know, it was like a, a, a D instead of an S. You know, it was something forgivable. You know, someone didn't have their coffee. But in this case, if someone didn't have their coffee, they could have changed the course of numismatic history. You know, it... So if you guys have a Mint State 67 Red 1969S, I would hold on to it. Uh, I think the price is going to go up if what I'm finding out here could be correct. I don't know. I just have this coin in my hand, Mint State 68 Red. In my population, it shows up as one of the four coins. And so I found it very interesting. I bought this as a Proof 68 Red from a major seller and they sent me this and so you know I started look all my videos start up close like this and so I'm like okay proof and then I got to label and I was like what and then I you know by the time I got back down here my, my hopes and dreams had been crushed um, but I find this just very interesting because if this happened once and it affected the top population how many other dates or mints could be out there where just a sleepy morning somebody messing up you know in the grading room but it's not f i guess that's the thing five people well i mean there's two possibilities in my head five people mistakenly graded this as a proof i mean i'm not the professional grader maybe there are mint state coins that look like this i've just never seen one i've seen some 2019 proof likes but they have a different different texture um I kind of want to set up the camera just a little bit different here for a second. See if I can get the light to pop up on it a little more. But I guess it's just like, so if five graders messed up on it and mistook it for, I don't think that's what happened. I think that, I think that the person um, making the label messed up. That would be my guess, is that somebody making the label wrote the wrong label or someone who you know normally grades in the Jefferson Nickel department came in you know because someone was out sick in the memorial uh, Lincoln Memorial Department and they just you know or someone's first day on the job but from what I understand five or five people look at the coin and so did five people say proof 68 and then it you know got you know graded as a proof 68 or I'm sorry mint state <laughs> So it, there's just mystery behind it. Um, I'm wondering what your guys' thoughts are. I'm wondering what you guys think the implications could be. If this happened once, and I am correct, this is pure speculation. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to discredit PCGS. I love PCGS. Um, if you guys follow my channel, I mostly look at PCGS coins. I find uh, the coins in their slabs beautiful, um, and I don't really deal with any other graded. Uh, coin company's product um, because I really like theirs. So this is in no way trying to like, you know, be like, but I, I, I respect the company highly. Uh, I think they do a great job, but no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. That is for sure. So if this happened once though, how many other coins <clears throat> could it be affected in situations just like this, where there is a coin that appears to be the top population, but it's been graded mistakenly. 
So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Uh, I wish you guys a beautiful day. And uh, this coin is no longer mine because it is now going to be shipped off. Uh, but it was a very interesting coin to hold for this time. And thank you all for watching. Share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the future.